Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have breaking news. A volcanic eruption has started again in Iceland, in the Reykjanes Peninsula, and uh, it happened just two hours ago. Just woke up, and, uh, well, not just now, but I woke up to the news. I woke up, looked outside my window, and you can see the eruption occurring. Here are some videos, or some pictures of it. I'll show some live stream in a second, and I will be going there later today doing a live stream, so be sure to subscribe and be notified about that. But of course, let's talk about this. The eruption started just north of Grindavik at 7.57 a.m. here in Iceland. Source of eruption was at Sundnöksgekur, north of the sort of barriers at Grindavik. Now, Christian Johans daughter, team leader for the natural hazards at the Icelandic Meteorological Office, says that's pretty good news. These are all early discussions, by the way. Benedict Olferson, an expert in the field of crustal movements in the meteorological agency, says that the location of the eruption, you know, although they expect they know kind of where the, the center is, they're not 100% known, and uh, lava is flowing towards Grindavik. Now, as so we take a look at some of the pictures that we have here, this is the scenario that they were most afraid of. This is near a build-up area. And, uh, you know, the, the lava is flowing both east and through the defensive barriers that have been built around the north of Grindavik. So the, the south and the north part of this barrier. This is all coming from Thorvald Thorson, a professor of volcanology at the University of Iceland. He says in an interview with MBF that, uh, about the eruption that just began north of Grindavik this morning. The good news, it appears to be low power and hopefully it will just continue to diminish steadily so that it will be a low power, short-lived eruption. Lava won't spread too big. Those are all the ideal scenarios, he says. He also says good news, the lava is, uh, although flowing to the south, the barriers are holding a certain amount of that lava on the north side of it. So there's a, new, there's a certain amount of this lava that's not posing a direct danger to Grindavik, which reduces the possibility of it going. But you can see... The photo here, although it's dark, on the right-hand side of the picture, we have the town of Grindavik. You can see the lava on the left. You can see some infrastructure here on the sort of middle. And you can see the barrier along the center of this photo. Thorvaldo says that it seems there is a little, just a little bit of power in this eruption. So it could end before the weekend, which is, you know, one week away. But nothing's certain. The worst case scenario would be that this eruption was able to hold the power for a bit longer, last for a few weeks or months, and uh, it could produce a much larger lava bed underneath. Seems like the eruption was formed again just before 8 a.m. and uh, yeah, crosses the barriers a short distance north of Grindavik. Taking a look at some of these other photos here as well that are coming out, you know, it's basically, it looks to a lot of people, including the you know the head of uh, the police in Sudnes, that it's heading towards Grindavik. They've evacuated the town of Grindavik. The Blue Lagoon, the hotels and everything, the Blue Lagoon just opened. They evacuated everywhere in the area, including the Blue Lagoon. And uh, they're just waiting to see what's going to happen. Let's take a look at where this actually occurred. We can see the purple area up here in the top right. This is the old lava that was on December 18th. We have the barriers, which are these orange lines. And now we have this red fissure line, which is showing exactly uh, where they think the new one has started. You can see that it's going, you know, a lot further south than they had initially estimated that it was going to be. They also released a updated hazard map, of course, uh, with Grindavik and the area of the eruption in purple which is, you know, obviously the eruption is occurring there and it's high danger. Uh, and then all the other ones, so they've removed everyone. Last but not least, we'll take a look at the seismic activity that's occurred. We can see that a lot of earthquakes have occurred throughout the night, throughout Grindavik, and, uh, and that's a result of the eruption. So no big surprise there. So I just wanted to get this news out as soon as possible. Again, I'm gonna be going there. My mom just arrived. Friday, so she uh, woke her up to see outside of the window here, you can see the eruption, so I wanted to show her that. Um, and yeah, we'll be, we'll be driving there as close as we can get later today, so don't forget to subscribe and, and 
be ready for that uh, live stream. So thanks so much for watching and uh, stay tuned.